Bonjour, deathlings, and welcome to another episode of Women in Death History. Don't know what that accent was. When you hear the name Madame Tussaud, what do you think of? A lifelike house of horrors? Eerie celebrity wax replicas? No, ma petite. Madame Tussaud was so much more than a maven of waxwork tourist traps around the world. An artist, survivor, and handler of the dead, today we tell the surprising story of Madame Marie Tussaud. Born Anna Marie Groschholz in France in 1761, young Marie grew up in Switzerland, where her mother was a housekeeper for the doctor and wax modeler Dr. Philippe Curtiu. It was Curtiu who taught Tussaud the art of wax. After moving to Paris with her mother and Curtiu in 1765, Tussaud's talent with wax was noticed by the royal family, and she was allegedly asked to live at the Palace of Versailles as an art tutor to Louis XVI's younger sister, Madame Elizabeth. Marie lived at the palace until the pesky revolution broke out and Curtiu called her back to Paris. Curtiu and Tussaud made wax death masks of the executed. Until Tussaud was suspected of being a royalist sympathizer and was nearly executed herself, her head was even shaved in preparation for the guillotine. Luckily, her association with Curtiu got her released and Tussaud continued her work of picking through mass graves of decapitated individuals in search of dead celebrity heads. Marie Antoinette, Robespierre, with which to make death masks. It was gruesome work, but it saved her life. After the revolution, she married a useless man named Francois Tussaud, whom she promptly abandoned, and spent the rest of her life showing her wax figures throughout Britain and Ireland. She opened her first permanent waxwork exhibit in 1835 on Baker Street in London. Dying at the age of 88, her sons carried on her legacy, expanding it to the empire we now know as Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum. But before the hokey museums populated with gleaming Elvises and together forever Brangelinas, Marie Tussaud was a woman whose life was literally saved by her work with the dead. And for that, we salute her. Merci, Marie. This video was made with generous donations from death enthusiasts just like you.